In today's lesson, we're going to be solving some problems that have missing factors. So here I have an equation, 5 times blank equals 20. So I'm missing this factor here. So I need to think um, to myself um, about what I know about my 5's times tables and think, okay, well, what number times 5 is going to give me 20 as a product? Okay, so I have some different things. If I know it right off the top of my head, I can come up with the answer, or I might need to count by fives till I get to 20 to find out what my um, answer would be. And five times four equals 20, and I can figure it out. I can do five, 10, 15, 20. That was four groups of five. So five times four equals 20. Let's try another example. Okay, 9 times blank equals 63. 9 times blank equals 63. So I need to think about my 9's times tables and think about, hmm, what do I know that multiplied by 9 is going to give me 63 as a product? So I can think about all my 9's and I, wait a second, I know 9 times 7 equals 63. So I know that what my missing factor here is 9 times 7. Let's say I had um, another problem. Let's say I had one that was 8 times blank equals 72. And let's say, you know what, I can't remember. I'm not sure what 8 times, what times 8 is going to give me 72 as a product. Well, I can use my multiplication chart to help me with this problem. So if I'm not sure about one, I haven't memorized it yet, I could count by 8s until I got to 72. I could use my multiplication chart also. All right, so this is what I would do. I would go to my eight row, all right, and I would move across my multiplication um, chart until I got to 72. There it is. And then I'm going to look up, and here I see, oh, okay, so eight times nine is 72. Eight times nine is 72. So that's how I can solve it um, when I'm looking for a missing factor on my multiplication chart. Eight times nine is 72. I can do the same thing. What if I wanted to know? Um, what times 7 is, is um, 84, so I'm going to go across my 7 until I hit 84, and then I'm going to look up to the top, oh, it's 12, 7 times 12 is 84, so that is another way, that is a way that we can find a missing factor on our division, or on our multiplication chart. Okay, in today's exercises, you're going to be finding that missing factor in all of our multiplication equations.